past. Mm -hmm. I think that was like in April of 2010. Yeah. So you. He also said one of the most interesting things he said was um, that the reason I got SD was because um, I lost my southern twang. I was from the south, and when I came to California back in the late 70s, and, uh, I lost my twang. I trained it out. I didn't consciously train it out, but he said it's when I lost my twang. That's when my voice sank back into my throat as opposed to being out here and talking like a heat. Of course, it's part because I just yes. become so habitual. Yes. I mean, I don't, uh, um, I mean, I'm totally willing to give myself to this process, but sure. just the whole, the whole thing of uh, not having it be habitual. Right. That scares the shit out of me. Oh, good. I'm afraid I can't do it, you know. But, what? but you the did it. You just with Cooper for a short time, you know. Okay. Um. But it was it was totally whacked out. All he had me do was hum the whole time. That's all he had me do, and uh, and then talk to him some. But um, it just he was trying to break the. Pattern, trying to break the automatic pattern. Sing again. Yes. Because that's my, that's so much yes. in my heart. Yes, you can sing again. God, I can start crying about that because I've totally again. lost my singing. Yeah, so did I. So did I. I mean, since I've been on the Botox, it's come back some, but my range is still so limited. Well, and Botox is not a good fit for singers. No way. You're right. Because it really messes up your range mm -hmm. and your. Ability to project right, right. You know, and, and mm -hmm. moderate control pitch. Just a little over a year. That's correct. Okay. So tell me the sort of voice that you came in with, although it's going to be on the clip when I make the, the video, but how it sounded, how it felt. It was pretty strangled. It was actually, it was, um, it was pretty hard to, um, you know, speak a complete sentence uh, without breaking up or without uh, catching. I, I had a lot of catches. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, it just, it sounded kind of like this or it sounded like this. Um, but it was difficult to speak. And actually when I came to your clinic, I don't think it was as bad as it had been. Yes. Ah, uh, voice rehabilitation. What did you do to recover your voice? And to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, but there were some strategies. I don't have a magic wand. <laughs> well, to begin with, when it first started, or after, when it, when it first, when the, after the onset in 2010, and then it got very, very severe, I did Botox about three or four times. And the Botox actually helped to, uh, to just break the strangulation, you know, because it was so terribly strangled. But I came to find very quickly that the Botox uh, did not yield consistency back. Uh, I couldn't sing at all on Botox. Uh, it was, you know, I, it was a struggle. It was, real, it was just a hard, hard time because I was dealing with the, the possibility that I would never sing again. Just in 